What's poppin' everybody? It's me, Saber Wolf Final Four, and we're gonna be looking at Empoleon from Cosmic Eclipse today. Uh, two matches, the same format as what I did with Flygon, and then after this, I'm gonna show you guys the deck for those of you that are interested, for those of you that want a blueprint. Uh, do note, for those of you that like my other format, I'm not gonna be doing this I'm, I'm all the time. This is just an exception, the Flygon and the Empoleon decks i'm gonna go back to just regular single matches you know with the deck and everything going first so don't worry but for empoleon it's gonna be two matches in one once again so we're gonna open up with this pg here this little small pg against this humongous dialga palkia and arceus on top of that uh, this is gonna be an arceus tag team gx deck uh, from what i see anyway and I got one of the Piplups, not the one we want, but at least I've got, I guess, the Empoleon from Ultra Prism 2. I am running one of this guy as a tech, because uh, he can deal 200 damage if the bench is full. And sometimes, against decks that aren't basic, if we go up against them, I guess he can be a good little tech against them, because Empoleon from Cosmic Eclipse is only good against basic Pokemon. His 1 for 80 attack isn't so impressive if you go up against Evolved Pokemon. But anyways, you guys are going to see when I post a deck. I just decided to do things differently this time. Show the matches first and then show the deck list. Uh, leave you guys in suspense, I guess. But it's some standard stuff. I got the rare candies, as you guys can see. The Empoleon is going to come out now. My opponent got rid of my shrine, unfortunately. But that's how it is. That new stadium, this new Vortex, whatever the hell stadium, it's quite annoying. But anyway, we're going to keep attacking with the Pidgey here since uh, I have no choice but to leave it active there. And I guess the good news is that this Arceus card, uh, there's red and green, pretty cool card as a full art. Uh... I guess the good news is is that Arceus, if they don't use something like Ends Resolve, it's a bit difficult to power him up. You do need, you do need to attach like the three energies manually. You don't have much of a choice since there's no double dragon energy in standard. And he's powering up uh, the other dude, I guess, Disc Reload. It's the new, the new Silver Lee that lets you draw cards like Artillery, another good card. And... Uh, Got that instant evolution and instant energies with uh, red and blue, red and green, however you want to call them. So still passing, still giving me the chance. And it's too bad we haven't really capitalized on that. I got kind of a slow start. And, oh Jesus, not much again. I've got this new uh, GX catcher, however it's called. And should, should I just grab somebody? That's a very good question indeed. I think I maybe I should. Let's promote you. And I think I want to do it. Discard Primplop. Discard. Should I do switch? Yeah, let's switch and pick on pick on Keldeo GX, I think. That's good. Cause Silverly can attack or retreat. So total command just hit you. And hopefully he can't go back to the bench easily. Because Arceus, you know, once they get that guy going, if he attacks, then he's going to fill your bench with energies. And his GX attack is also extremely dangerous. Uh, extremely, extremely dangerous. You kind of have to, like, sacrifice a turn of damage, but then you reap the rewards afterwards. Uh, but unfortunately, he does have the switch. Surprise. And he's going to go attack call. Now, I don't think he can get rid of my Empoleon though with 160 HP even if he makes an attack I'll be able to survive but instead he goes for the GX attack so uh, okay I guess not great but we get another free attack on him and Titan Lizza give me five cards okay so no no pip loves man I'm having such difficulty here uh, let's get the Elm with Poke Gear. That's going to be handy next turn. So extremely slow. I promise the deck is more consistent than this. This is just a bad, bad start for me. But anyways, I get the Cynthia too. And I'm actually going to go ahead and attach the 
third water energy on Napoleon, and hopefully I slow this dude down if we discard energies uh, with a whirlpool. That's my ticket to stall him a little bit. So get rid of, I think, the metal energy would make the most sense. Maybe he has fewer of those, more than likely. So good, 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 good. Hopefully that slows him down because, I mean, it really sucks. I don't want him to attack. I want to be able to get a few more turns of him not really damaging me. And there's the Alana and Male supporter too, tag team. Heal all the damage. You guys can see it's very difficult. These tag team GXs, if you don't get a one-hit knockout on them, they have numerous ways to heal. Like even in just the standard format, they have enough options to heal. From this new supporter, uh, from the great potion, you know, from the mixed herbs, if some people want to use those cards, there's plenty of options. And uh, there's actually even more <laughs> if we go with other archetypes. So he's going to go for the 150 attack with, um, I think that's Silverly. So that was close. I didn't get KO'd. And uh, let's fill our bench and actually do some high damage on you. Okay, get the Piplups, get another Pidgey, fill my bench, and uh, start powering up the other guy. It really is sad that the, he healed all the damage, but you kind of have to deal with it. And uh, let me get Mewtwo. Uh, it's not Mewtwo. New two. Get that guy as well. Play him down just in case he does snipe. I don't believe he would, but I mean, you never know. I guess I've got the space. Just play it down. Boost the damage too with Empoleon. That's the most important thing. So, energy switches, and I believe he healed again. That's the only explanation. And. Uh, It'd be good if I start getting the shrines to get rid of that stadium and just do something. We don't even have field blower, so I have to sacrifice them in a way. I, I need to burn two to get one in play, pretty much. And gets the KO on Empoleon. Very unfortunate, but it was going to happen eventually. And get two prizes instead of one, thanks to Arceus. It is extremely broken. Extremely broken. Like, it... It makes using these stage 1, stage 2 decks even worse, you know. They sacrifice one turn, but then when they get when they get pri when they get knockouts, they get an extra prize, so you know, it, it's worth it. It's a worthwhile investment if you look at it like that. So I'm going to go for the recent stamp. Uh there's actually a deck that I have the space to run a copy. Get the other Pijoro out and have to sacrifice the shrine there. It's too bad, but that's the situation. Water energy with the spinner. And let's use air mail. I guess I'll get the rare candy. God, I mean, I, I have a little bit of damage on the board, but we got to get knockouts. We got to get those knockouts. And I can't play the stadium since we already played one. Uh, but hopefully next turn... So there's the recall attack from Empoleon. This is gonna make him this is gonna make basic Pokemon not able to attack. But to be honest, this Silver League GX doesn't care. It's actually a stage two. But he's gonna switch and Ultimate Ray, that does the trick too. If you switch, then you get over the effect. Very unfortunate. They should have made it like they should have made it be immune, or even if your opponent switches, they should have given it a little bit of an extra edge effect like that. It's the only way. Otherwise, you know, it, it ain't going to do anything. I'm trying it out, but it probably won't do anything again. So, communication, I'm going to get another Apollyon out, and I hope at least if he burns the switches and burns those cards, you know, maybe we can actually do something. But I'm running out of resources here too. Uh, let's see. I got the option of Elm or Erica. Let's get Erica and draw a few cards with her. I think I burned a lot of the Piplups and Empoleons. Yeah, 
I mean, once my opponent gets one more knockout, he wins anyway. So this might be like the last turn, or, you know, this Empolia might be the last Pokemon we can uh, use in this match. So go with 80, get a little bit extra with the Shrine of Punishment. I should be immune this turn, but if he does any shenanigans to switch or something, then I basically lose again. So evolve into another Silverly GX, it would seem. And what are you going to do? Pokemon Communication. Uh, put the Kildeo GX back in the deck and get somebody. And use Energy Switch again. God damn. Uh, putting it on Silverly. Reset Stamp. It's not going to hurt me, to be honest, since we haven't taken any prizes yet. But I think he's trying to thin his hand. Yeah, draw enough cards with Silverly. And it gets rid of my stadium yet again. Can't do anything about that. Communication. Shuffle back the Keldeo. And yeah, he's definitely looking for stuff here. Let's see. Communication. He's burning those. Uh, what are you going to grab? And yeah, one, two, three. Just a lot of resources in my disco pile. Play another dude down. Dialga GX. God. Why the hell is that guy in there? Or is it... No, I don't think that was Arceus Dialga. Palkia. But anyways. And uh, draw more cards with Silverly. Do you have what you need? I might get to get one more turn at least. Or something. What did he play? Let's see, you got that. Okay, so switching again. There's that supporter, Lana and Mali. Heal too, God. It's impossible, it's impossible for me to win against a deck like this, I think. But anyways, he managed to switch. All he has to do is just manually retreat the kill deal and make an attack, and I lose. I don't know why he's stalling there, but here goes. Arceus, Ultimate Ray. And we lose. We lose the first game. That's too bad. So you guys can see that, you know, even though Empoleon is supposed to be, ah, oh, you know, it's going to be immune against basics. There's, way to, there's ways to play around this sort of attack. There's always been. Uh, but now it's going to be the second game. Hopefully this goes a bit better at least. Uh, get a few prizes because we didn't get any on this match. I... Hit a lot of guys for a lot of damage, but he just healed them up. We couldn't get anything. So let's see. I'm going to open up with Mew this time. I guess, it should, I guess it should be a good decoy in the beginning while we're setting up. Since you can't attack immediately in this deck. And I think my opponent... Yeah, it is It is some sort of fire deck. There's the Heat Factory there. Uh, you've got this... Um, you know, It's Keldeo, but there's sort of like fire sleeves in a way. Red... And opens up with Volcanion. So more than likely this is some sort of Reshiram deck. Maybe Breaksin, maybe Volcarona. Some fire deck. So it's good. We actually have at least the advantage. If there's one deck that this Empoleon should be good against. is Reshiram. I mean, not only it's a basic Pokemon. We can hit it for weakness. Put a little bit more pressure. So things should be in our favor. But we'll find out. So he gets to play first. So he won't be able to get that plus with Volcanion, but he played Green's Research, Green's Search, Green's Exploration, however you call that card, I always forget. Get a few searches, and we're going to go with our Elm, turn 1. Get my Piplups and a Pidgey, that should be good. And I even have the Counter Catcher, or the, I mean, I, I think it's, it's GX Catcher, and I call it Counter Catcher, crazy. But anyway, I think I'm going to go for it. If we put Reshiram in the active position, maybe I sort of slow him down. Uh, he kind of maybe wants to use a Volcanion to power up the Reshiram. We're going to prevent that. And normally I'm stingy with my stadium, but in this case we're going to play it. I got to get as much damage as I can. Because uh, at least if we do a little bit of damage on them, I can actually do the 130 attack and get like a one-hit knockout. 
but he immediately gets rid of my stadium. I guess I should have seen it coming, but we played it anyway. I've got a maximum of four stadiums in this Empoleon deck, four shrines, so that's why I'm a bit, a bit more uh, hasty playing them. I'm not as stingy as other times. But he's going to go for the Welder, okay? And I guess if he puts another fire, he can make the attack. He's going to have to burn his GX attack. I kind of hope he does that, to be honest. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens if he does that. Poke a gear. Played an Acrobike too. There is Green's Exploration again. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but in in Japan, green is blue and uh, blue is green. And it always sort of annoyed me. It always annoyed me when they change shit up in the West pointlessly too. But anyways, I refer to it as green and blue. So get rid of the stadium again for the shrine. Go with a strong Cynthia. Do I get what I need? We need like a rare candy ASAP. Otherwise this Piplup is going to be a sitting duck. Thank God I see it. I'm very fortunate here, but that's the benefit of Pijoto. So I'm going to get a knockout at least on this Volcanion. I guess he decided to promote it again. It's a wise move though, because he promotes that guy. Even if I use the recall attack, you know, Volcanion gets KO'd, so the effect resets. So this Reshiram doesn't care. He can use Flare Strike and kill me. And that's the sad part, is even against this deck, they have so many ways to play around your effect. You know, they know, okay, this is what you're trying to do. Uh, you bank in your whole uh, deck on this attack. Okay, I just got to play around it. And if I do, then you just have another weak deck. So there is more Acrobikes from my opponent. And uh, Welder. Yeah, of course he planned everything with Green's Exploration. So now he has enough energies to one hit KO the Empoleon. Gonna go with Tech Call 2. Broken ass card. I can't believe they made it so that you can search Tag Team GX Pokemon free, two of them for free, and you get the supporters. It is too insane. Like, this should have been you just get the supporters and trainers for Tag Team. Sort of like how the old uh, Holland Transceiver used to work. Like a little supporter engine, trainer engine there. But because they made it be able to grab a Tag Team GX Pokemon, it's just so clear that they're saying, they're, they're saying to us, yeah, Tag Team GX Pokemon, they get all the best cards. You guys are going to have to deal with it. Anyways, I mean, before you know it, the Sword and Shield uh, TCG set is going to come out. There's there's some time still, but before you know it, it's going to happen. And then shit might change again with the new V Pokemon. But anyways, let's let's try again with... I think I'm just going to have to attack with this Piplup the way it is now. Because uh, we can't use the Recall on his ass. Unfortunate. But I only, I only managed to get three of these, so that's why I have one of the... The Ultra Prism once this revamp from DP. So communication, let's get, let me get Pijoto in fact. So we get a little bit more drawing going. Since I won't be able to get Empoleon out this turn anyway. Get a Water Energy, not much choice there. And Airmail, get, get you, get the Whistle, draw a card. Give me something. Okay, Cynthia. I guess it should be decent for next turn. So Splatter. I'm just going to do 40 damage. <sighs> God damn. I mean... Maybe. Maybe I guess we can get a one-shot if this dude is softened up. I hope. I just hope he doesn't heal. But of course this deck is all over that strategy. So, he's really being conservative. I mean, this is how this these green exploration decks work. You don't commit a lot of Pokemon on the board. You just have your big guy. Maybe you have another Pokemon as backup. 
You have Vulcan in there. And then you let all your supporters and items do the work for you. Heal you. Pull stuff with the custom catchers. You know, all that stuff. So anyways, he makes a smart play again, retreating and promoting Vulcanian. So once again, if I kill this dude, he's able to use the Reshiram and Charizard to finish me off. Extremely, extremely bad. And, you know, it's not like I have a millions of these in Polyon. <sighs> so at least we get a KO, one hit KO in this Vulcanian. But I'm not in control of the game at all. Let's see. Airmail again, recent stamp. I hope that helps, but I mean, it's not like he has that many cards in hand anyway. I'm going to use it. Maybe, should I have saved it when he's like at two or one prizes? Anyway, got to do what we can now. So there's the bubble beam or whatever. 160. KO the Volcanian. And hopefully that slowed him down. Damn it. But this deck is, of course, very consistent. It's filled with supporters and trainers. That's the whole point. There is green again. Green's exploration. God damn it. Get anything he wants. So he's going to get, well, fire crystal in a stadium. Perfect for him. Mitigate my damage. And not only that, draw cards, which is what he wants. Fire crystal, get those fire energies. And yeah, this, this fire, fire type, they really just have everything they want, don't they? Like the only thing they don't have is something like electro power, I guess, to boost the damage even further. But everything else, like energy acceleration, draw power, searching, recovery, they just have everything. And it's going to play down this Breaks and Charizard too. I think that's what that Pokemon is. I didn't get a good look. And Double Blaze GX is going to go for it. I mean, about time, I suppose. The game, it's near its end. We got to go for this Piplup again. No choice, I'm afraid. Play down the Shrine. Hope it amounts to something. And... I think I might just have to go for it. Go for the big attack, the bigger attack, and get that one hit knockout. It's going to play around me again anyway, probably. But unfortunately... Yeah, God. I We we need like a candy and an Empoleon, and I don't think these Pidgeotas are going to help me. Aramea... Yeah, it's over. It's, it's over. I'm going to have to retreat. Very unfortunate. So, no matter what, I don't think I'm winning this game. It's just impossible. Like, even, even if I got the KO here, you know, he would more than likely have the breaks and ready and then finish me off. We won't be able to be ready in time for the next one. So you know what, if I just get at least one more big knockout, or the first big knockout, because we haven't gotten any, I'll be happy. So let's promote the mime there. Hopefully he stalls. I mean, if he pulls the Piplup, it's freaking over for sure. Uh, he's going to get rid of my stadium again. Go with Welder. I mean, at this point, I'm going to lose anyway. I am going to lose anyway. Fourth energy on Reshiram. I mean, he, he, he's got me. But this does make for a good demonstration to show you guys that even against Reshiram and Charizard, which is a basic Pokemon, it's a far Pokemon you can hit for weakness, it's extremely difficult. Uh, it's just Empoleon doesn't do enough damage and... The worst part is, is that they can play around your effect. It's crazy good. So, rare candy. I'm going to get the Empoleon out. Guess, get one final attack. Go with uh, 
a 131 aqua fall at least get a prize get three prizes so I mean I did make it close I mean we kind of played we didn't I mean my opponent was in control the whole time really uh, but I guess maybe if I was a bit luckier if they don't get what they want you can win because I, I made it close like he barely got the victory you could say I'm down to one prize I guess the shrine really helped but we're still gonna lose so, so it's GG I hope you guys enjoyed these Empoleon games to give you guys an idea about the deck if you like it if you don't if you still want to use it uh, Saber Wolf and I fourth thank you guys for watching and I'll show you the deck afterwards Let's say, 